Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, happy birthday for a couple of days ago to Phoenix Aki who sent us this puzzle. Um, and also asked about an email they'd sent a few months ago about um, a possible live stream game and some adjustments that could be made in it. What, and what I'm going to say is this, and I hope this doesn't sound too awkward. Um, if you do email us, and we, we do welcome it, please don't expect a reply every time. If we wrote considered replies to the literally hundreds of emails we get every day, Honestly, we wouldn't have time to be producing two videos a day. So it just isn't realistic, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you understand. Now, it was Phoenix Eki's birthday a couple of days ago. I wish I'd done this on their birthday, but instead we're doing it today. So I hope that makes up for it a little. It is um, not too difficult a puzzle, apparently. So be prepared to give this one a try. The rules are... There's a few rules, but they're relatively straightforward. So um, nothing very unexpected amongst them. Give it a try uh, in a moment. But first of all, listen to the idea that you should have a go at Dangerous to Know, our Sudoku hunt for the month, which is on Patreon and which has been getting absolutely rave reviews. I think 250 people have solved it already. The feedback, I'm literally gonna say universally positive. Where were the negatives? One or two people who were hoping that the last puzzle would be the hardest rather than the easiest, maybe. But honestly, it's been wildly popular. And thank you very much for the, for the comments. Uh, worth a go if you haven't either joined our Patreon or if you have, you haven't tried the hunt. Um, give it a go. Not too difficult for once. And what else have we got? We've got... Um, all our apps and they contain a wide variety of puzzles again many that are not too difficult only a very few that are quite hard in each app and we highly recommend them they contain such things as killer sudoku line sudoku domino sudoku as featured in today's puzzle uh, you can also try sven sudoku pad and our merch but the first thing to do is to look at the link to this puzzle, Caged by a Secret Killer by Phoenix Eki, who starts off with, and this probably won't appear on the rules you try and solve, oh no, you've been locked inside a Sudoku grid by a crazed maniac who gets thrills out of forcing people to complete logic puzzles. That's either me or Simon, I reckon. Use your wits as well as knowledge of some Sudoku secrets to break free. The puzzle creator is not liable if the puzzle breaks during your escape. Well, I hope it's not a broken puzzle. Ooh, I don't think it means that. Right, the rules are relatively straightforward, as I said. Normal Sudoku rules apply one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, cells in cages sum to the total in the top left corner. However, in this puzzle, the cage totals are given as letters, so this pair of digits adds up to C, which has to be deduced. Each of the four letters has a unique sum, and we see why it's called caged by a secret killer, because the letters in use are C, A, G, E, which no doubt make a lovely musical tune as notes. Digits cannot repeat along the positive diagonal. So on the marked diagonals, you can't ever repeat a digit. That is a set of one to nine, therefore. Uh, same for this one, obviously. Oh, look at that. Smooth marking. Cells connected by a green line must differ by at least five. Normal German whisper rule. Cells connected by a white dot are consecutive. We've got two white dots in the puzzle. And inequality signs um, point to the smaller of the two digits. Point to the smaller of the two digits. So that one's bigger than that one. If you've ever done maths, you know what inequality signs mean. Give it a try on that first link. I am going to start now. We'll see how approachable it is. Let's get cracking. So, well, that mention of the of Sudoku secrets leads us straight away to consider this group of cells. Um, that is four lots of C. Now, do you know the secret that is the total of every row, column, and box in a Sudoku? If you don't get listening, it's 45. Now, share that wisely. 
Um, it's all, it's got to be 45 because that's the sum of 1 to 9 and they appear in every row, column and box. So, 45 minus 4c equals this cell. C, C I can tell you, is odd because of this white dot, um, which means that the consecutive digits on either side of it, one will be even and one will be odd, they must add up to an odd number. So, let's imagine that that number was 9. 4 lots of 9 is 36, and that digit could be 9. 4 lots of 11, the next odd number upwards, is 44, and that digit could be 1. And I think those are the only possibilities. I think we've got exactly the same deal going on with E, which has one white dotted um, jobby, one one. Ah, and those one on nine are obviously on the same diagonal. So one of these is a set of cages that add up to 11. I think I lost my thread at some point there, but never mind, you know what I meant. One of them is a set that adds up to nine. So one of these white cages is a five, four pair, and the other one is a five, six pair. They both have five in, and we know because of the given five where those fives go, there and there. And then we have a four, six pair up and down the diagonal. Now that we've got this digit and we've been given this digit, we can think about column one and nine, I suppose. So here we have, well, we don't have the white dot. Well, I don't know now. We do have a green line this time. So the minimum digits that could go there are six and one. If we had three lots of seven here, 21 plus four is 25, these two cells would add up to 20. That's impossible. So seven is too little, just. Eight's gonna be, oh no, maybe eight's not too little. Well, it, it, oh, no, it's not. Eight times three is 24, plus that is 28. This could be 9 and 8, and that's actually quite plausible if each of these added up to 8. In fact, that works very neatly. Let's just keep going up the list. If these were added up to 9, that's 27, plus 4 is 31. These two would add up to 14. You see, I could say this would be a 5 then, 9 and a 5, but actually that would be forgetting that we'd have to put 8 somewhere in the column. And if we're saying that A adds up to 7, how did this work a moment ago? What did I start with? I started with A adding up to 7 and that didn't work. Then I moved up to A adding up to 8. Yes, that did work because we were putting 8 there and 9 there. Right, A adding up to 9, that's what I'm on to now. And it, it does potentially work. Sorry, 27, 31, 40, and a 5 there. Yeah, that does work. A adding up to 10 is 30, 34. Then these two have to add up to 11. You see, this is all fine. And I think I've wasted my time here a bit because I've only been trying with 9 there. When I get up to A equals 12, and I think that's still possible with... Ah, 3, 9 there. That's as big as this can actually get. We've had a 4 in the column. Right, 12 is the maximum. 3 of those being 12 is 36, plus 4 is 40. This doesn't work, because then you could use the 1, but you'd need another 4. So none of the versions with one up here work. This is a nine. Oh, that's very unexpected. Let's just recapitulate that. If this was a one in the corner and that was a four, that's five. These three have to add up each of them to a total somewhere between seven. And I think we've just worked out 11. Well, 11's... Honestly, what am I talking about? I don't know anymore. F 3 and 9 is 12. So somewhere between 7 and 12. But didn't we work out that 12 didn't work? 36, 40, 
and a 1 leaves another 4 required. Oh, that's it. So all the ones with a 1 here don't work. So 3 11s is 33, plus 4, 37, plus 1, 38. Oh, that does work. So I'm off beam. Right, my apologies. That, that just didn't work at all. Total fail in column 1. I'm going to have a look at column, column 9, which at least has that 6 there. Now, again, I think 7 is the minimum for these digits, but actually they'd all have to be under, under 7 if G was 7. So that's not, and 6 has gone already. So that's not possible. So then let's try 8. 3 eighths is 24, plus 6 is 30. You would need these to be 15. With that being a 9, you'd repeat a 6. That's no good. Let's try three nines. So 27, 33, we've got another 12 to do here, which needs 9 and 3. That's possible. So 9 for G is possible. Three tens gives us 30, 36, 1 and 8. That's not going to work because then you can't put 2 or 4 in any of these cages. Let's try 11 as the total. 33, 39, only 6 more to put in. 1 and 5, now that does work. So G could be 9 or 11. How about 12? I think that might be the last one we have to try. 36, 42 and a 1 and a 2. Okay, at least we've established this is a one this way round. That's definite. Now I can put the nine in up there in the corner, which was kind of what I thought the whole time. Anyway, nine subtracted from 45 gives us 36. All of these cages, C is nine. Oh, and we're not allowed to have a repeated digit. Oh, that's vital suddenly. Um, C is nine. That has proved that E is 11. Oh, I thought... Wasn't I going to prove exactly that over this side? Oh no, G could be 12. That was it. If G was 10, 30, 36, 37, we'd have an 8 there and we couldn't fill any of these with evens. That's no good. If G is 12 though, 36, 42, 43 and a 2 there, I think G is 12. We can't go above 12 or that'll be a minus number. And if we... We've, we've, try, we've tried 10, we can't use 11 again or 9 again. If we go down to 8, we can't fill these. Yes, G is, I'm so bad at this, G is 12, E is 11, C is 9, what do you bet A is 10? 30, 39, 43, and a 2 here, that would clash. Oh, A... Can A be 13? That's the only thing it can be. If A is 13, 39, 48, no, 52, that's too much. Something's gone badly wrong here, and I think it's in my brain with maths. I was absolutely certain we were solid about this 1 and this 9, and these work, and these work. That was all right. Okay, let's take out that two and go back to thinking about G. We've had 11 and nine as, as C and E. So G, let's start with eight. It's impossible because there aren't six more available digits below eight. Okay, so we go up to nine, but we've used nine. We go up to 10, this is where I have the problem, because I believe that 10 doesn't work because it leaves an 8 to put in there. And then if all of these cages have to add up to 10, how are you going to put the even digits in when you've used up 8 and 6? That just can't work. We're not allowed to use 11. We are allowed to use 12. Three lots of 12 is 36. 42, 43, that puts a 2 here. And these all add up to 12, and this one can be 3, 9. Actually, it has to be. I mean, I think that works, but... And then I'm going to get the problem in column 1. 
where now that I've used 9, 11 and 12 as cage totals, A sort of has to be 10. Ah, oh, I haven't used 8. Yes, we worked that out early on. A can be 8. 24, 28, 37 and an 8 down there. There we go. A is 8. I'm sorry to be so slow and it's, it was actually just memory failure, wasn't it, probably? Anyway, this pair can't be 2, 6 or 3, 5. That's a 1, 7. So these others are from 2, 6 and 3, 5. Now, in this row we're adding up to 11, so that's a 3. Then the other digits we have are nine, 2, 4, 7 and 9. Um, in this cage, the bigger digit is on the left. In this row, we have a 7 there to make 9. We've got 1, 3, 6, and 8. And in this cage, the bigger digit is on the left. That can't be a 6 by Sudoku. This can't be a 3 by Sudoku. Now, 7, 4 there would break this cage irrevocably. So that is 9, 2. This is now 7, 4. I can't see how they're resolved yet. Yes, I can. There's a 4 there. Bingo. OK. Now, 9, 2 doesn't resolve this. 7 is sitting there, so that can't be a 7. Now, does one of these break that? Yes, 6, 3 breaks that cage irrevocably. It's beautifully symmetrical, this puzzle. Very clever stuff. Um, and... 8, 1 doesn't resolve that cage now. So, here we are at this point in the puzzle. These green lines are begging out to be, are crying out to be used. They don't have a 5 on them because they're German whisper lines. There we go, that's good. I can do this 2, 6 from the 6 across the grid. These don't have a 5 on them either. I can stick the 5 in there. What are we adding up to this side? 12. Then I can put 4, 8 in. Actually, the 3, 9 are done. So are the 1, 7. And the whole perimeter has come together beautifully. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right. Now what next? Let's, let's look at the corner boxes. Let's look at the ones with the whispers in again. So we've got, well, 9 is on one side there. 4 must sit with a 9 in this cage. And therefore 8 and 1 are a pair. On one side or the other. Now there's an 8 there. So these can't be 8s. And that means these can't be their 1 partners. OK, let's have a look at this one. 1 is over this side and must go with 6 in this cage. Because 6 needs a green dot partner, then 2 has to be in one of those cells with 9 as its partner. 2 is already on this diagonal. I've definitely not done as much elimination up here as I could. In fact, let's just enshrine these as candidates rather than corner marks. Um, I'm just going to redo this set. So 8 has to be in one of those cells with what is its partner with one because four's partner is nine and nine's in one of those and four's in one of those. Now this diagonal now has a rather pretty oh look it has a one nine pair I was going to say it has a one four six nine quadruple it has a one nine pair so this digit becomes four and this one becomes six and that is going to unwind the whole of these boxes. That's lovely actually. Really clever. 9, 1, 8. There we go. So those boxes are done. That is a bit surprised we still need one disambiguator in the puzzle. But how is not to reason why? This is a 5, 6 pair. 5 can't be on the diagonal. This is a 7, 3 pair resolved from above. Let's look in this box. We've got 3, 4, 7, 5 to go. 4, 5 on this pair. I don't think the diagonal sorts that out. 7, 3 here by Sudoku. We've got a 128 triple and a 
37911. I'm not afraid to use this, which comes into play now. This can't be one or two um, and be larger than that cell. So that's eight. And this one is not nine. That's what I learned from that. Then we've got all sorts of triples coming down. Four, five, eight there. We can't have five in the middle. One, two, six there. We can't have one at the top. I'm going to just keep doing this. Oh, it gets more complicated this side because I haven't resolved that four, five. Oh, I should have done, thanks to the five in the middle of the diagonal. Ah, which is also telling me that there, we've got two and eight there. Now I've put that eight in, we can do them. This diagonal needs seven and three, and that seven, or indeed the three, the other side, sort it out. That now becomes a six. This can't be eight. Yes, this is going to do a lot of good stuff here. In fact, I think we're going to finish now. Four, six, five. We've got one, seven, three down here. And 289 here, in which I can put them all straight in. That 2 sorts out 1, 2. That makes this a 7. That makes this a 9. Still got a few pairs to resolve there. Okay, 489 here. I know the 4 must be there, because we've got 8 and 9 in that row already. 256 here. I can stick the 5 in and a 26 pair. That's not a 5, so this is the 5. Um, what's this? I bet this is totally naked. It is. This sees 3, 4, 7, 8, 5, 9 in the row, 2, 6 in the column. That is a 1. That's what we mean by naked in this context. And that gets a lot done. Let's look up the columns. 3 and 1 there now, and also 3 and 7. This is a 9 to finish the column. That finishes boxes four and six, and then there's just two digits to do. And there we go. We have discovered the secret of the killer and evaded the caged maniac. 2,000 people have solved that puzzle, so it's been popular. Um, but happy birthday, Phoenix Aki. Great fun. Thank you for watching, as always. And we will see you again on the channel soon. Bye for now.